Can I go? As we remember, the empathic type has two psychological needs, to be recognized as a person and to receive sensory satisfaction. So what do I do when I want to feed my need for recognition as a person? One of the first things I do is, I offer you my needs. The world's most manipulative people are children. And it's the same for dogs. Yes, dogs know how to get your attention. And if they don't, they'll pee on your pillow. But I can decode that it's the negative manifestation of a psychological need. And maybe I will have something to offer. And if I don't, good luck. Off you go. You'll remember that I gave you rule number one this morning. That is, I must first of all look after myself. I don't know anyone who is willing to feed others if they haven't eaten enough themselves. So, what do we see? What we see is that there are people who would rather move towards a relationship with others. For example, I enter this room. I don't know anyone. What do I do? Well, I'm going to place myself on this side. And how? I see that there is someone I don't know. She's going to create this contact zone. Because we empathic people like to live in a group. We are group animals. Tok Tok, who is it? The empathic? The empathic. It's the person who will initiate contact. Who is relationship oriented. Who speaks to others about himself. You saw that as soon as I entered the room I started giving a lot of information. Relationship oriented or activity oriented. Now we can place our personality types here. But can't people look alternatively inwards and outwards? Maybe this depends on the person. At this point, one needs external stimuli. At this point, the stimulus becomes linked not so much to the activity itself, but to one of the causes of this activity.